conflict. Willful damage. Extortion. Neighborhood disputes. Theft. Mischief. Uh, sexual offenses. Graffiti. Assault. Restorative justice. Restorative justice. Uh, restorative justice. Restorative justice. Restorative justice. Restorative justice. The criminal justice system uh, uh, doesn't really make amends to the victim. Uh, they're there to deal with the offender, and and depending on the nature of the crime, there might be a, a victim impact statement, but most often there isn't. So other than the fact that an offender has been perhaps found guilty or not guilty, there really isn't anything in it for the victim. It is victim-centric, um, where we are focused on who has been harmed, what are their needs, and who's responsible for addressing these harms. And for the person that caused the harm, how are they able to be accountable for what they've done? Gives uh, the person that's been harmed a voice. So it gives them a voice to ask questions, like, why me? Restorative justice allows police officers another stream, another venue to be able to root very valuable experiences uh, that are for the community to another process that's more appropriate. It isn't based on the criminal justice system. I think it gives a voice to more people. I think our traditional punitive responses are they're offender focused, right? It's 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 a, it's a focus on what happened and what can we do to to punish the person who is responsible for it. But restorative justice gives a voice to people who are affected. It gives a voice to victims. It gives a voice to community. Um, it allows for deeper deeper repair of the harm that's caused than just a punitive response would. I mean, it, it keeps people out of prisons and it keeps people in the community repaying that debt in a way that's more meaningful. There are certain crime types uh, that occur that are amenable to diversion. And, uh, and if that's the case, then uh, the young offender is diverted to a program called restorative justice. You know, in the process of um, deciding whether charges will be filed, which can happen after arrest, um, there's always the option to consider this route. There is a referral process that would go to community services and they're vetted for appropriateness. Referrals come from Crown Council, they come from RCMP, they come from the school district, from businesses, and we sometimes get self-referrals. So families say, we've got some issues going on and we really need some help. Restorative justice is voluntary. So everyone that comes, for whatever reason, chooses to. So even if their reason is about, um, hey, I don't want a criminal record, I don't want to be charged and go to court, it's still a reason for them to follow through and do what they need to do and repair the harm that's been done. Restorative justice really benefits the community in several different ways. And one of the most important is, is that a lot of experience and incidents that happen just don't quite meet the requirements and the seriousness to be inside the court system. But that doesn't mean that it's not super impactful and important to the people who had that experience. This program is invaluable uh, to a community. Uh, it helps with the court system and the backlog with the court system. So for use, um, coming to restorative justice means that they wouldn't have a criminal record. So that doesn't impact their life forevermore. There are many different places and spaces in which restorative justice is now practiced. We're going into the, into the schools and we're doing the work in the schools. From an education standpoint, from a school standpoint, it means a lot of that foundational community building, relationship based work. From the city perspective, it's on our community safety action plan. If we didn't have restorative justice, there would be a real gap in our ability to offer a service to citizens in this community and restorative justice uh, is able to fill that gap for us as police officers. We don't have an age restriction, so we can serve from about nine years old all the way through to seniors. Restorative Justice is part of community services with Ridge Meadows and they're always looking for donations and volunteers to participate in the program. It feels great 
to watch the process unfold, the transformation, relationships being repaired. It feels really good. It, it was your choices that changed your life. You decided to do better and you did better.